Building HS2 could cost up to £106 billion, according to a leaked government-commissioned review that reportedly outlines a 20% rise in costs to the UK infrastructure project. The review into the controversial high-speed rail link project warns of considerable risk that costs could balloon further from HS2's original budget of £32.7 billion. Read more, three quarters of London businesses think HS2 is too expensive. Read more. Dissenting HS2 report revives calls for government to release official review The government has already spent £8 billion on the scheme to connect London, the Midlands and the north of England with fast trains. But the review reportedly advises the government to hit the pause button on a second phase of the project due to connect Birmingham, Leeds, and Manchester. Instead it suggests the government consider existing train lines to link those cities. Former HS2 chairman Doug Okavy led the review into the scheme and it recommends the government presses on with the project, the FD reported. But 15 Tory MPs from across the country were preparing to meet Prime Minister Boris Johnson this week to raise urgent concerns about the project. Some are set to urge the PM to drop the scheme, according to the BBC sign-up to City AM's midday update newsletter, delivered to your inbox every lunchtime Johnson himself has warned against costs getting out of control but he has also suggested he would be in favour of an infrastructure project that rebalances the UK's economy away from London. H.S. 2 Chairman Alan Cook warned in September that the cost of HS2 has risen to between £81 billion and £88 billion, and the National Audit Office is set to publish another report about HS2's costs shortly. If it does continue, HS2's London to Birmingham link is set to open at the end of 2026, while the Leeds to Manchester line is scheduled for 2032-33. The London to Birmingham route would take just 52 minutes to travel, compared to a current 1 hour 21 minutes. Businesses urge PM to complete HS2 businesses today pushed the government to follow through on the project, which is costing a reported £250 million per week. Read more. MPs were misled on HS2 cost, says former Deputy of Government Review and a project business communities are united that this project should be delivered and should be delivered in full, British Chambers of Commerce's co-executive director, Claire Walker, told the BBC. There is no project that has been proposed that will go so far in delivering the transformational change to the northern business communities as this project will. For more on this story, visit the news article link.